This is a tutorial for Arduino and servo motors. So we're going to use an SG90 servo motor. That's what this is. Now, if you look here, you can see the wires are brown, red, and orange. Brown is the ground. Red is the positive, And orange is the signal wire. Now I'm going to hook this into the Arduino, and we're going to put the power to 5 volts. That's the red one. And the ground into the ground. and the signal into pin three. This is what it should look like. and onto the code. Up here you use hashtag include servo.h. This is include, <laughs> this is including the servo file from the library. And here we name the servo, servo1. You can name it anything you want, but I named it 1. Now here we have 1 attach 3, which is telling the Arduino it's on pin 3. 1 right 90, which moves it to position 90. Delay 600 milliseconds. One right zero, which moves the servo to position zero. And delay 600. Now save it as something that you're going to remember what it is. And make sure that your Arduino is hooked up and it's on the right COM port. Uploading. And you see it moves from 90 to 0. Fascinating. But let's say that you wanted to use more than one servo. I'm going to hook up three servos. How about that? For that, we're going to need a breadboard. So grab a breadboard, and you're going to need an external power source. It's going to need to be 5 volts. If you use 9 volts, you will blow out these little blue motors. Now, pull out your positive and negatives. And hook them up to the breadboard. Negative to negative, positive to positive. Ground and negative are the same thing. Positive and power are the same thing. Here's the second servo motor. We're just going to hook up the negative to the negative and the positive to the positive. And a quick note here, the power, the red one, the positive, it's always going to be the middle wire. Sometimes it's tricky and hard to see which one is red and which one is orange. 
So the middle wire is always going to be the power on these little SG90s. Negative to negative, positive to positive. Now we had this hooked up to pin three on here. So we want all three of these motors to move. What we're going to do is going to take a wire and we're going to put it in pin three. And then we're going to hook that onto a line here on the breadboard. See that? I'm going to take the signal wire from each one of these motors and hook it onto that line. See, here's the first one that we had with the orange wire. I'm going to put it on the same line. Here's the second motor. I chose yellow so you can know which one it is. And the last one, I chose a blue signal wire. This is to make troubleshooting easier so you know which motor is malfunctioning. <laughs> Where is it going? It's the blue wire. Okay, see how everything lines up there? And it's all hooked into three. But this won't work like this as it is. If you hooked it in right now, it wouldn't do anything. You need to close the circuit. So we're going to have to grab another wire and hook it into the negative over there on the breadboard and hook that into the ground on the Arduino. And that's going to close the circuit. Do not skip this step. Move around everything so you can see it. Hook these guys up so I don't mess everything up. Also, let me stress again on the external power source, only use five volts. If you use nine, you will blow out those little blue motors. And if you use anything less than five, they won't move. Hook up my power source out here. And now the Arduino. Okay, there we go. They are all moving 90 and 0. And that's a lot of wires, right? But that's what it looks like. There's the external power source. Now, let's say you want them to move in different directions. So, just take the signal wire and put it over on the Arduino. I'm going to use pin 5. And we're not going to need this anymore because we're going to have them all go in different directions. And this is the second servo. It's going to be the third servo now. And we're going to put that in six. And our original servo that we started with. We're going to put that back on three. And 
Okay, that's what that should look like. We still have our ground over there hooked up to the breadboard. The only thing we moved were the signal wires. Okay, all of this other stuff over here, we didn't touch any of that. It's all still exactly where it was. Okay, all the positives and negatives are all on that line over there. Now, time for the code. Now, we added on more servo motors, so we're going to have to name them. Here we have servo 2, and I'm going to name the other one servo 3. You can name these anything you want. You can name it I love me, but you cannot use any spaces. It has to be I-L-O-V-M-E. Now we have two attach five because we put it on pin five. And three attach six because we put it on pin six. We're telling the Arduino where the servo motor is. Now down here, we're going to have to say to write 20, we'll just move it a little bit. And three, write 100. Mm. There we go. And it doesn't matter what order you put them in because everything is going to be executed pretty fast in between the delays, you're not going to notice. To write zero. We'll just put them all in zero. And three right zero. And it found an error right there because I was talking. We'll just fix that. And then we'll upload this. There we go. Now you can see they're, they're all moving in. Hey, stop that. Rude. Aye. Rude. Anyway, they're all moving in different, they're all moving in different positions. This one is moving very small. That is the 20. And that, of course, is what it all looks like. Now, I use those little PMGs. You tell me what happens if you use the other ones. Thank you for watching, and please stop by EPO for all of your electronic needs. Drop by or call today. They appreciate your business. Thank you for watching.